I looked to the floor a few minutes ago and I saw a ball bearing on on the floor, a little tiny round ball bearing. And I was like, what the hell? What's what's got a ball bearing? So you know this, you know, that what's falling apart. Um, and then I looked around and I found another one. Another ball bearing. So I was like, okay, something is in the process of breaking some wheel or something. And uh, so Sherry's got a walker and a scooter and I find that um, the front wheel, I can see uh, ball bearings coming out of the front wheel. So um, what I'm gonna do is try to fix this. I can't, these are sealed bearings, they're like skateboard bearings. So I can't just put these back in there and hope things are gonna be okay. Um, I have to get a new one. I looked online as you do, and I looked at Monster Scooter Parts to see what they charge for these. And they charge like four bucks for these, um, which is fine, but it's gonna take time. So let's see if I can replace this bearing down here with a skateboard, uh, skateboard wheel bearing. I don't think that's really gonna make much difference. We'll see if I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna start off with, um, with uh, taking this wheel apart, and then we'll put the new bearings in. Let's see if this works. It should be a simple fix. Uh, Sherry wasn't noticing any problems yet. I just noticed these bearings were on the floor. These, these bolts, because they're in weather all the time, they, um, they're usually really hard to come off. Actually, this is not bad at all. This isn't, this isn't bad at all. The 13 socket, pulling this off. Pulling this front wheel off this. I didn't do anything else in the scooter. This is it. So this nut came off. This one. And as you can see, the bearing fell right apart in my in uh, as soon as this wheel came off, this bearing fell right out. So I, I can't really put this wheel back together again because this bearing is just shot. But what I'm gonna do is the other side, there's a spacer. This other side, this bearing looks okay. So I'm going to pull this bearing out. Pop that out, okay, so this bearing is good. And I'm gonna go to the skateboard shop down the street and see if uh, I could find, if they can give me one to replace it. All right, so I just, just came back from the skateboard shop, magically and I bought a pack of reds. Um, it's like 20 bucks for this pack. And there's a pack of eight bearings. Um, I had an option, there's like another thing I could have bought which would have been 60 bucks for a pack of eight. But they, those were, those from you could take apart, put back together. Anyway, these are same size as, as the scooter bearings. So I'm gonna take these apart and I'm gonna reassemble this front wheel. It's really gonna take no time at all. Okay, this is gonna be super simple. Take one of these bearings, pop it on a wheel. All right, so I'm just gonna tap this bearing in there to make it flush. For alignment, I feel like I made a mess on that carpet. For alignment, it's, the carpet's pretty messy because we have the scooter. I'm just putting the bolt in just for alignment for now so that I can put this center post in and do the same thing with another one of these. And just knock it in with my hammer. We all have hammers. This isn't a lot of pressure, I'm just tapping it in pretty gently. All right, and I can't, I, so now I'm gonna put it onto back onto the forks here. There. So I'm going to, so this bolt goes on here. There's a little spacer that goes between. There we go. If I did the, this is, didn't fall through on the inside, it should go all the way through. Good. And then I'll need another spacer on the other side. Another spacer. There. Yeah. Right, that's the old washer. Okay, and then I have a washer. 
washer. And I need to go get some Loctite before I put this nut. You don't want to put um, so much pressure on bearings that you're, you're putting this lateral pressure on the sides of them because you'll end up blowing out the bearings. So you want to put enough that they're, they're taut and not so much that you're like pressing the inner, the insides of the bearings away from the outside of the bearing. So I think I'm good. So if we look at what we just did, the wheel spins nicely. There's there's no, no play, so we're good. And this is on pretty tight. It's not. I didn't. I didn't crank it down like crazy, but it's, it's on there. So that's it. There's our little repair. It didn't really take a whole lot of time at all. Cost uh, 20 bucks. What's that? That that amounts to uh, uh, four bucks per wheel, which is about the same price as if you went to Monster Scooter Parts, and then you get the get a bearing. I don't know if these bearings are better or worse than what you get in Monster Scooter Parts. I suspect they're actually better because skateboarders care. <laughs> um, and when they put these scooters together, they, you know, when they put these scooters together, they, they're trying to make it as cheaply as possible. So they probably buy these, I'm guessing, but they probably buy these uh, parts in bulk. So I probably put in, I probably upgraded the, the bearings a little bit, but truthfully, bearings are bearings. And uh, now I've got uh, six more uh, bearings in case these things blow out again. So good luck, this is what you do if you uh, find that your bearings are blowing on your scooter. It probably works for every scooter. <laughs>